Brittany Jean Spears at the age of 40 is pregnant. And I'm happy for her. I really am. Hey everyone, it's your girl Miss Anna Little Call. I am back with another one. I'm a, I think I'm going to be doing uploads all day today because tomorrow I'm going to be busy. But anyway, I am so happy that Britney Spears is pregnant, particularly at the age of 40. She gives me hope. I'm going to keep it real. Now, I like Britney Spears. I've always liked Britney Spears out of all the people from the Disney Club. She's the only one that never bothered me. She never hurts my nerves. And her music to me got better as she got older. I just finished listening to Give Me More, and I love Toxic. I love that song, Toxic. And oops, I did it again. I mean, she had a lot of bangers, though. But I feel womanizer. I love that song, too. So anyway, Britney Spears has been given clues going back to March that she's possibly pregnant. And, you know, she's been showing the belly on Instagram. And now that she's free from the conservatorship, thank God, because her parents are evil as you know what, she's been able to do her own thing. And one of the things that she wanted to do was become a mom again, because as we all know, that stupid Kevin Federline took her children away and her sons, they're tainted. They're raised by their father. It is what it is. And I think that if she would have had her kids, I think she would have raised them much better. But anyway, she wanted to have her own family and she is actually doing that. So her fiance, Sam Asgari, they have announced that she's pregnant with her third baby. So she says that she might also be pregnant with a daughter, I mean with twins, But she thinks it's going to be a girl because she really wants a girl. But she thinks that she may actually be pregnant with twins. Now, I'm happy for her. I'm all for it. And another thing, too, is that her oldest, her oldest son, Sean, is was born in 2005. So he's 16. And his oldest, his youngest um, um, her youngest son is 15 as well. His youngest son is 15. So that's kind of weird. They're a little bit, the, they're both Virgos. They're a little almost, yeah. So they're, they're two days. They're kind of like Irish twins, pretty much. They're not a full year apart. So they're almost grown, you know? And she never got the chance to really raise them because they were taken away from her when she was 25. 26 years old she never got a chance to really 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 be a mom you know so she's like her one chance to really raise her kids and I say Britney Spears I'm so proud of you I'm proud that you stood up for yourself and I'm gonna say something there's nothing wrong with this girl you know what's who 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 were the, the deranged ones her parents and even her sister she had deranged people around her See, I followed the story with Britney going back to 2006. And I used to go on Perez Hilton's blog. And Perez Hilton used to time stamp everything. I remember when she used to go to, to the convenience store. I remember she used to go to CVS. And wear the red wigs. Not the red wig, the hot pink wig, the blue wig with the other one. Um, I can't think of his name. What was his name? The manager. The one that everyone said was stealing her money. And then she had the boyfriend. Because she got a thing for... um, Sam Lufty was the manager. She got a thing for men from the Middle East. I'm going to say that. I'm going to keep it real. Sam Lufty. She got a thing for them. Yeah, that... Yes, he was part of Inner Circle. They used to go to the convenience stores and get laxatives I mean it it was very entertaining in a strange way but then and then yeah and then Adnan Galib that was um yes that was her boyfriend Adnan Adnan Galib yes I was I'm telling you I remember that era that 2007 era 
That era was hot. I, I, I miss. I miss the two thousands. I miss the campiness of the two thousands. But she survived it. And you know what? She was got tired of her. She 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 started dating Dick Ebersol and Susan St. James' son. He was about three or four years younger than her. He was the one that basically noticed that there was nothing wrong with her. That it was her parents that was medicating her and doing this so that they so that they could make money. Because with the conservatorship, they were going to get paid. They were going to control her money and they would get salaried. It was all a money scheme. There was nothing wrong with Britney. The only thing that was wrong with Britney, she should have never married Kevin Federline. Because he was using her for money. That man was the worst thing that ever happened to her. And then if we want to go back, Ray Robson... As much as I can't stand Justin Timberlake, he was right when he mentioned that Ray Robson basically permanently, he basically interfered in their relationship and slept with Britney because he wanted to get back at Justin Timberlake because he developed a close bond with the Jackson family. You see that Ray Robson is another snake. So she had a lot of snakes around her. And when she couldn't state that she was, that she was, in a relationship with um, Justin Timberlake, it destroyed her. But I don't think that her and Justin were going to last anyway. I don't think they were going to last at all. I think that it was just a childhood romance. And, you know, they, it was, they, they were going to go apart. But I'm happy for Brittany. She's pregnant with baby number three. My only thing I would say, Brittany... Stay low. Don't do nothing extra. And stay away from your family. Because they're dangerous. Because you never know with them. And with that being said, I'm signing out. Thank you for listening. Share this live. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Comment. And I'll talk to you soon. I'm coming back with two more uploads on this channel.